Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have a box. It's from Hallmark. This is my first non-doll unboxing on the channel because yes, I collect other things, which is why I did not put doll in my channel name title because it's not the only thing I did. Um, so another thing that I collect is something called a Hallmark Itty Bitty and they are these little plushies that are absolutely adorable. Um, I haven't found ones that I really liked for a while, but this year they just came out with a SpongeBob and Patrick, and oh my god, are they absolutely adorable. So today we are going to take a closer look at the sea sponge and starfish from all our childhoods. Now, let's get a closer look at SpongeBob first, because He's definitely the one that, like, drew me in the most. I'm ready! <laughs> Ooh, look. Okay, so Spongebob is so cute. Honestly, I've been wanting them to make an itty-bitty of him for ages. Again, these are from the Hallmark store. Um, they retail for about $7.99 each, which isn't bad considering their size. Um, oh my god, he's so soft. I love him dearly. He's also, like, very, like... He's squishy, but he's, like, pretty firmly stuffed, too, which is nice. Like, he feels weighty. He doesn't feel cheap. Um, his pants are printed on, much like most current-day itty-bitties have with their clothes. He's got his little fabric hallmark tag. Um, his arms are also printed on. I've always liked the itty-bitties because they have these flat little nubbin arms, and they're just... Oh my god, Spongebob is so cute. And... The embroidery on him is so good. Um, you know, when Itty Bitties first came out in, like, 2000-something... God, they're old. It's an old thing. Like, early 2010s, late 2000s, I think the first Itty Bitties came out, and they had um, quite a few, like, embroidery defects, so it's nice to see that they've streamlined the process, and I... Not, not a single issue with his embroidery. Um bottom of his feet is just like his shoes and he is a bean bag so he can stand you you can't see him he's just out of frame because he's zoomed and then of course he's got you know like hallmark itty bitties spongebob squarepants nickelodeon uh these are new for 2022 according to the copyright date um you know that stuff here's his barcode if you want to find him i don't think they have price scanners at hallmark stores though um i ordered him online along with patrick I do hope that with these two, they do, like, if they sell well enough, I hope that Hallmark continues to make Spongebob ones, because I would love to see, like, Squidward and Patrick, oh, wait, I have Patrick, Squidward, um, Gary, Plankton, uh, Mr. Krabs, you know, all of the other main characters in this little plushy style, because this is so cute! I'm so sad that there's not a Squidward, or a Gary, or a Plankton. But Spongebob is absolutely perfect. He is currently my profile picture on Twitter. He has taken a chokehold of my brain for, like, the past several days now, and it's so nice to have him in hand. He's just... Eeh, he's so squishy. I love him. Um, now, we've spent enough time on Spongebob. It's time to talk about his best friend, Patrick Star. Now, Patrick is the most uniquely shaped itty-bitty I've seen in a while. Like, come... Well... Not counting the Finding Dory ones, because those ones are all uniquely shaped because they're all fish. But Patrick and Spongebob are, like, some of the most uniquely shaped itty-bitties that have come out in a very long time. Most of them use, like, a very standard body shape, which I don't have any of them nearby to show you. They're unfortunately all put away, but I can get them out in a sec to do some comparisons. Patrick is so cute, and he's, like, really soft. Um... I say that about both of them. They are really soft. His tag is the same. Uh, it just says Patrick Star. Now, the, the interesting thing about these, and what makes me think that they might make more characters, is it just says SpongeBob SquarePants, like that's the collection they're a part of. It does not have a limited edition tag, which means these are probably going to be around for a while, and I love that for them, because... Um, with Hallmark Itty Bitties, they do put out limited edition ones. Like, 
Um, Frankie Stein from Monster High and Draculaura were released in like 2015 and they were limited edition. Um, but it's nice to see that SpongeBob and Patrick are not limited edition. Um, I do have Frankie, by the way. I can show her to you later. Uh, I'll probably bring her out just because she's the one I know where she is right now. So Patrick's uh, clothes, they're printed on just his swimsuit. And then his feet are the same material as the rest of his body. And all of these little, like, starfish marks are embroidered onto his body. Most plush companies, when they make Patrick, elect to screen print them on with, like, little decals. So it's nice to see that these are embroidered. Hallmark usually never skips with the embroidered details. I love these. I, I love that so much. I don't have much else to say about them, but I will compare them to some other Hallmark itty bitties in just a second. So, if you'll just let me pop them out of frame. Alrighty, and we are back. Oop, SpongeBob blew out the camera with my ring light. Anyway, um, here's SpongeBob compared to like Hank from Finding Dory. Um, I have a few itty bitties, not as huge collection as I would like. I missed out on Beetlejuice, I can't find Draculaura on eBay anywhere, which sucks. I do need to get her. Um, but yeah, he's, he's so cute. But like compared to a 2016 one, the fabric is still the same, which is nice. Um, I love that they're really soft fabric because I don't, I don't know what it is. Cause like these have been through the wash. Uh, here's Destiny from Finding Dory as well. These two were limited edition, so you're probably not going to be able to find them anymore. Um, but, um, What's really nice about the Hallmark Itty Bitties is compared to most other plushies, like, I, the ones I've had have been through the wash because, um, like, my younger cousins would play with them when they came over, and their fabric has stayed, like, I don't know, I, th is, I think they're made out of Minky, because it's, it's stayed, like, relatively soft all these years. Um, anyway, Frankie Stein has the traditional Itty Bitty body type, you know, like, with the little nubbin arms, and the face shape that is very round. Um, what's interesting is Frankie has, like, colored eyes, and I would think that's because Spongebob has, like, very bright blue eyes in the show that they would give him these blue eyes, but actually, I think he, he works better with the black, so I'm kind of glad they went that direction. Also, I feel like um, I'm staring at my Spongebob Funko Pop on my desk, um, this is, like, a cuter version of what that Funko Pop probably was trying to be, if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, that's Spongebob compared to some of the other itty-bitties. Now it's Patrick's turn. Um, obviously, he's very different. Um, I, I would expect the Spongebob characters to vary greatly from the traditional body shape. I think if they were to make Squidward, he would probably be this body shape. Uh, maybe not necessarily the head shape, but, like, the standard body shape, I would imagine Squidward to be. But, yeah, that's, that's Spongebob and Patrick. This is a really short video. I just wanted to film this. You guys voted it into existence. As you can see, I did make some little sky flowers in the background. Hooray! Um, I'm super excited for these guys. I love them so much. Oh, they're very soft. They're very cute. Um... I, I'm gonna enjoy making TikTok videos with them and potentially bringing them with me on my aquarium trip. I know I want to bring Spongebob with me. I don't know about Patrick, but I will take plenty of pictures. You will see them on my Twitter, um, which is at BerryVeryArt. So, thank you guys so much for watching this little abbreviated review of some plushies, which is not what I normally do. Um, anyway... This has been Jade. This has been Collector Space. Um, would I recommend these? Yes, they're adorable for any Nickelodeon fan, any SpongeBob fan, um, like young or old. Honestly, these are just perfect. Um, ab absolutely perfect. And they're a pretty good price too. Um, they are available on Hallmark's website right now. Some people are selling them on eBay um, at an upcharged price. Do not do that. Uh, just order them if you can't find them locally uh, from Hallmark's actual website. They are not out of stock. They are brand new. Like, they, I think they just came out. So, best of luck if you're going to add these to your collection. They're absolutely perfect. They're 100% worth it. Um, the amount of serotonin I am 
getting just from like holding him. Yes, I. And this is like literally being filmed the day after I found like some of my favorite Rainbow High dolls from series four. Just perfect. This has been Collector Space. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button down below, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.